It occurred to me last night that if we are, in fact, the operant power of our personal reality or the god of our reality, essentially, that means that everything in our reality is moving according to the beliefs we hold. This means that everything in our reality desires to do as we desire for them to do. Meaning that if we desire, say, a specific person or a specific outcome to something, that outcome and that person also desire the same. And everything in the entire universe, is working in our favor to make these things a reality for us. They are all doing so because they have no choice, we are the ones with the choice, and it is our own indecision that creates the seeming randomness of our experience. We are the ones preventing them from being so. Meaning those things want so badly to achieve the goal, that is inspired within them thanks to our desire, however, our own inability to allow or receive these things is what is preventing them from fulfilling their mission. We are our own roadblock. We are the ones who prevent things from coming about. We are the ones creating the obstacles that are thus objectified or materialized before us. Our own inability to stay focused on the goal, to overpower our negative thoughts and feelings, our own inability to not get lost in the sauce of our present undesired circumstance, is the only reason we have not achieved the full realization of our desires. This is truly a game of controlling not only our minds but also our focus. We need to focus. Stay firmly fixed on what we desire, keeping our focus, our emotional state, and our attention unwaveringly directed towards our goals, while allowing everything else to effortlessly fade into the background. Your specific person wants so badly to be with you, even if you may feel they are unconscious of this desire. It does not change that the very wiring within them, that moves them in life, is set to you as long as you desire them. They want so badly to show up as their best self, but it is your own limiting beliefs about them, about what you feel is possible, about love, or life, or your worthiness, that is causing all of the malfunction that you feel you are experiencing. Harmony is created within them and within yourself when you can truly come to terms with this and allow yourself to receive the full manifestation of that which you desire. The abundance you desire, wants to be a part of your experience so bad, but your own inability to perceive the many ways it is already showing up, is what is creating that block that prevents more of it from not showing up. This is the realization I came to last night as I pondered once again where I am with manifesting the things I desire and why I haven't fully realized some of the ones I hold dear. I managed to manifest everything, all of the details surrounding a goal, so much so that my reality can literally mimic exactly what I want. Except say some big detail that would tie it all together, and my goal now is finding whatever it is within me, preventing it from fully coming about. An example of what I mean is, I've managed to manifest all of the ingredients to create the best chicken pot pie, but somehow, I have a block to manifesting the oven. So, now I've just got an uncooked pot pie. Waiting for the oven to bake it in. Not sure if this is the best analogy but hopefully my point is made. Always remember, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. I hope you like this video, subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.